Because of that, we came. But unfortunately, we find out that the chairman, the president and chairman in council of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Engineer Adekunle Mukule, had had an hidden intention of not wanting these resolutions to be considered and, if possibly, be passed. Yes. So this happening is on the fact that Nigerian Society of, Society of Engineers is anchor on rules and regulation as enshrined by the Kama and that of the member of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. And in two of these laws that is covering, one is stating that a simple a two-ten majority or a simple majority can undertake the event, I mean the activities, the program of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. The other one as well stipulates that 75% of the members present can, will be taken to rectify whatever resolution that is here contained. Now the issue is this. We, have, we came here by 8 o'clock, started our accreditation. He called to order for this uh, 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 member, I mean, uh, this review. And he informed us that we have to jettison every other law and focus only on one of the law. We stipulate 75% majority. affirmative uh, majority. Yes. There was a lot of argument. But at a certain point, the general house accepted that we should go on that. But unfortunately, because he has had a premeditated intentions not to allow the will of the people to be seen first in the society. He came up with another thing, which is so disappointed that alone sell him out to make us understand that he does not have that qualification that we thought he had to lead a society as great as Nigerian Society of Engineers. And how did that come about? When the, the resolution of 75% was taken, and we said, let's go for vote. Let people decide that. He now came back to tell us, which is the worst of thing any leader can do, that he just find out why he's, meet, why he's sitting in this uh, extraordinary meeting, that he just discover that the council, which he is the chairman, did not approve, approve the resolution as contained in this in this memo. In this memo. Why did he call us? That alone is a proof that he is not qualified. He is totally incompetent. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you over 14 months? Have you have we are the chairman of council? You've been taking resolution, and this is the morning of the NSC. And you sat before us and tell us that this resolution, he just find out that the council did not take two third majority before bringing it here. That alone shows that he is grossly incompetent. Competent. And as such, we are the people who are suffering much from the south and the southeast region of this country when it comes to this society, have hereby moved a motion. Yes. That we are not going to be part of NSC anymore. Exactly. Yes. We are not going to be part of NSC anymore. Under engineer. Under engineer. Mokule, Mokule, Mokule. Mokule. And that is the position of all the members of the Nigerian Society of Engineers from all the south, south, and southeast region of this country. Yes. And we want to send it, use this forum to send a very strong warning that are no circumstances whatsoever that we will come back here exactly. except by, by its removal and express as acceptability that the resolution here must now go on the post. I said yes. We cannot yes. afford to spend money, yes. time, on energy, yes. risk our lives, abandon our works. Most of us are not employed Weak scout for our life, for life, 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 So you cannot bring us and then tell us to come back again on this same matter. Business. And I want to let the general public to know that this is 10 years that this particular member 
has been on a born, uh, born and, burner. and yet, not and yet not we thought this will be an end to it. Wouldn't but unfortunately, this, wouldn't this uh, affect uh, the uh, engineering profession? But very well. Now let me tell you, what makes you an engineer, and how is it going to affect you? This society is an uh, a voluntary organization. They don't pay any money to any of the engineers practicing. Rather, it is the practicing engineers that, that, that are the one paying money to the association which they use in running yeah, the, sorry, the, sorry. the society. And I want to put it to you again that it is quite shameful that Mokolo, who could not rise to protect the and protect the interests of Nigerian society by allowing a barrister to be a minister for work in this country, can be the same person that have the infantry, the audacity, the impetus. the impetus to walk out of all the engineers, engineers. that has attended this gross EGM. insult, gross misconduct. Thank you very much. No, no more motion. No more no motion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vote of no confidence. You have passed the vote of no confidence. Your phone name. Give, give him your phone name. Give me your phone name. Your phone name. Your phone name. Your phone name. No branch here represented or a branch chairman shall attend any council meeting or any activity that has to do with headquarters from today henceforth. Yes. 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 Going yes. forward, yes. we are moving it as a motion. Yes. Yes. Going forward, we have also said that we will, as a people, chart our own course. Yes. Because the EGM that we have called for was abandoned by the leadership. Yes. They were, they, and it was abandoned. And this is not the first time we must remind ourselves. It has been the strategy of a very negligible minority cabal in the Nigerian Society of Engineers. And we stand there to reject in totality. In totality, yes, my brother. We reject in totality their actions, their inactions, their intent. They are thinking, and we are saying, and their purpose, and we are saying that going forward, on this resolution presented to EGM, we stand. Yes. 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 And so. as a body, as a body, we will have nothing, I repeat, nothing to henceforth to do with national. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Is there a leadership, a leadership tussle? That is, that is no leadership tussle. Okay. This document I hold in my hand was prepared by council under the able leadership of a very revered fellow, engineer Ike Inua, fellow of the society and a past president of the society. He also pleaded with the present president to please consider these resolutions and the president in Jinamokulu blatantly refused. So we are saying that these resolutions that were presented by council to EGM must be, must be discussed, adopted, adopted and Used as a working document for the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Yes. Yes. So, okay. I tend to resolve the issue. Give me Don't say that you are sure. We can't go can down. Give me the leeway. Yes, Nigerian engineers. Uh, yes. Now, and to answer your, answer your question, key in these resolutions is the issue of rotational presidency. We have over. We have over. For the past years in NSC, since it was formed, 31 past presidents. 17 has been from a particular session in this country. So, here in our resolution, here in our resolutions, we are talking about rotational presidency. That is key here. So. The Southeast, South South engineers of that extract have today resolved not to be part of anything under the leadership of Mokoli. Sorry, let's get your name. My name is Engineer Baron Oniwu from Imo State, Owere Branch. It is of note no. that Engineer Mokolu have been involved in careless and reckless spending of NSE funds. Council have called him to order since last year, 
severally. He has been antagonizing and fighting staff of Venezi from the southeast south south extraction to the extent of SAC. And who've appealed, the council have called him to restate those persons. He refused. He went ahead to reshuffle the assignment and schedules of elected persons from the southeast south south zone, assigning them minor or no responsibilities in the national. This is too much for us to take. And we have resolved today, we kept quiet, we endured for the interests of Nigeria and the unity of the engineering society. Till date, we spent time, it took us nine hours to drive from the nearest state in the south, south, southeast to Abuja, considering the bad state of the road and the insecurity of the nation, situation in this country. We got here, we managed to sleep, and we woke up as early as possible, gathered here. At the end of the day, Mokolu, who said he's a president, and I've been questioning that since last year. If anybody here will recall, check the minutes of the last AGM. I asked, why can't we sanction this man? And nobody said anything. Because a couple of people and his, some of his juicy committees taking some money. He does nothing than to create avenues to waste the resources of NSC. I cannot see any fund generated by this man. Rather, he has been squandering the few. Our past president, in the notice he was able to say for the society. And this man is busy recouping revenues, dues, donations from the Nigerian people, and mostly engineers, and has been doing reckless spending. We are saying enough of this. Okay, sir, we went ahead John one of this kind of, uh, and under this agreement and resolution, we are not part of his leadership. Okay. And we are no longer part of the leadership. How many branch chairmen? We, we, who are we? We are all the branch chairmen from the south and south. All the branch from the south and south. Then we have the critical committee in place. We will decide. Let's get your name. Let me answer that. Just write it for us. My name's Engineer Agri Wilson. I'm the chairman. Nigeria Search of Engineers, Yenegua Branch. I say, you know, we have, we have resolved in no distant time, if we, are, if we do not revisit this moment, we will, we will be reverting to creating a different association of our own. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Let it be sounded loud and clear. When we go into our drawing board, we are holding meetings today. We will continue to hold meetings from now till when that position will be made, will be brought out to the press. That we would we have stopped to take the what, what, the directives from the Nigerian Society of Engineers at the national, at the national at the leadership. Wait, under, under the leadership of Adekule Mokolu. At, as at present. We have taken our our destiny, fair, in our, our destiny in our own hands, and we shall be communicating to the press and communicating to all our members to desist from paying any form of dues to the Nigerian State of Engineers. Yes, we will continue from now on. We will send out our own notices. They should they should just forget the because the Nigerian State of Engineers has even advertised for its AGM. We will not partake yes. if this situation continues. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank it was mentioned by this gentleman, and he mentioned it. That is, you can consult our council minutes. We agreed to come here for the amendment of our article of association. When we spent money here, spent money to Chida Hotel, spent money for uh, EGS, and nothing was done.